In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can double your speed with one simple trick. Alright, so here we are inside DaVinci Resolve and I have a bunch of clips from very old, slow, beaten up hard drive that basically can't even play proper 24 frames a second. As you can see, it's kind of choppy and basically we can't really work like that. So here's the very simple trick that probably most of you don't know. If you go to the settings and basically in the settings, in the master settings right over here, if you're gonna go to optimize media and render cache, you can specify very interesting value. So if you have relatively moderate computer, nothing super crazy, let's say you work with the mechanical drives, drop this to DNX SQ, standard quality, okay? And render cache as well to standard quality. And here is a very important thing over here you need to remember. Enable background caching after five seconds. Basically what it does, the moment you stop touching anything on your computer, uh, mouse, keyboard, anything, it's gonna count five seconds before it's gonna start caching. What can you do? You can actually drop it down to one and save it. Therefore, the moment right away you stop doing something, it's gonna start caching. So if I'm gonna go into the playback and under render cache, I'm gonna select smart. Right away, we're gonna see all my clips gonna start caching in the background because I'm not touching the mouse. What is great about it that one second is not really too long for system to kick in because even if you're working all day long on a computer, one second will allow you in the background to keep processing those files that way you don't have to sit in front of the computer basically and keep looking at different things. So once this thing complete, we're gonna see that entire thing basically gonna be ready in no time and we can play back in the real time. As we can see here, some of the files already start caching and if I'm gonna click playback, we can see that performance actually delivers the true 24 frames a second without our system hesitating or basically giving any kind of choppy playback, even though the original hard drive is all busted and super slow. So that was about it. That's what I wanted to show you. It's kind of like a quick little trick to kind of speed up your process. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.